welcome to my channel uh, we are continuing with our topic 6 which was population and sampling yeah, and in this video we are going to be looking at the difference between cluster and stratified sampling techniques these these are probability sampling techniques yeah they are almost the same so we want to look at the difference yeah, the main difference between cluster sampling and stratified sampling is that in cluster, a cluster is a group of things, a small group of things. In cluster sampling, the cluster is, is treated as a sampling unit. So analysis is done on a population of clusters. Yeah, in cluster, the cluster is treated as a sampling unit, while in stratified sampling, the analysis is done on elements within the strata. Strata is something like layer. It also, yeah, it, it's it's something like layers, but it can mean a group of things or a group of people. So in stratified sampling, the analysis is done on elements within the strata, elements within that layer or elements within that group. Yeah, while in cluster sampling, the analysis is done on the sampling unit. That is the main difference. Then another difference is that in stratified sampling, a random sample is drawn from each of the strata. Maybe you, you, you make groups of 10, 10 students and you choose one student from each of the groups. Yeah, so a random sample is drawn from each of the strata. Whereas in cluster sampling, only the selected clusters are studied. You choose one group of 10 students and you use that as your sampling unit. Yeah, then another difference is that the main objective of cluster sampling is to reduce costs by increasing sampling efficiency because you only choose a specific cluster that you to study. So it reduces costs. Well, the main objective of stratified sampling is to increase precision, something that is precise, like to summarize things yeah so those are the differences between stratified sampling and cluster sampling thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment share with your friends and watch my next video we shall be introducing topic 7 which is called data processing analysis and presentation